This is the main control room for the facility. It's set up to be, can be up to three control room spaces. We're only going to initially set it up with two. Uh, but lots of cameras to monitor what's going on inside and outside the facility. As you can, it's difficult to see from here, but if you're in here, you can also see down each corridor to the terminus of the corridor. So not only can this person monitor all the cameras, but can also monitor the corridors in the facility. One of our things that we're trying to figure out how to do is instead of having inmates escorted around the facility, is to send them from point A to point B. Okay, you have a class, you're going to have a class in one of the central classrooms, or you're going to medical waiting, just sending you there, notifying the central control that they're on the way. They can walk down there as long as they're willing to behave themselves. They can just walk and do their thing. If they don't want to behave themselves, well, then they are in, going to be housed in a different part of the facility. These are the two medical waiting areas for the medical um, clinic. So we can have different classifications waiting to see a doctor or nurse. This is our computer classroom for computer-based learning. And two centralized classrooms for larger classroom activity. Every housing unit has a classroom, video visitation, professional visitation, exercise yard, and a medical room. So that we limit the amount of people that have to move around as much as possible. 